Hey, folks, I want to speak to those of you out there who have food and eating issues. I've got a big project coming up for people with food and eating issues. Um, but I also want to read you an excerpt um, from a book that I'm working on, a project that I'm working on. I've been uh, involved helping people with food and eating issues for decades now, at least 25 years. Uh, and I've been getting um, you know more and more experience at that as we go along. So here's some things you need to know. And I'm going to read. I'm just going to read this expert uh, excerpt from my book. But if you have food and eating issues, emotional balance and emotional wellness, what I call emotional fitness, this is the real issue. It just now plays out in all these other various forms. The behavior that you want to correct, binge eating, overeating, whatever, this is merely the reflection of the emotional imbalance. The behavior you were focusing so much on, binge eating, overeating, etc., or your weight, this is the actual pain, not the cause. To make the pain go away forever, you treat the cause. You stop trying to kill the pain. And that's the mistake so many of you are making out there. You keep trying to kill the pain over and over again, but you're never eliminating the cause. So emotional fitness is what's involved here. So the solution to your food and eating issues at some point have to be a practice that you follow and not a concept that you study. And that's important as well. It's not how deeply you understand your problem. It's what you do in terms of manifesting a solution. Over time, the attempt to seek a diet as an external solution to food issues only leads to the diet itself becoming a new problem to deal with. And if you aren't careful, this becomes a new source of pain for you as well. The attempted diet as a solution to your binge eating or overeating becomes a problem both as a separate entity as in trying to stick to your diet and as a reinforcement for the uh, initial issue like emotional avoidance, using food as a coping mechanism, using food as a maladaptive uh, substance abuse. The key that unlocks the door to a solution to your food and eating issues begins with self-acceptance. This is a concept that's hard for people to deal with. And while many people claim to have self-acceptance, your actions say otherwise, especially if you have food and eating issues. Anyone with a food and eating issue battles self-acceptance on some level. So the question becomes, do you know and accept yourself for who you really are? Because a lot of the times who you're pretending to be is also a cause of the issue. Um, so that's very, very important. In contrast, do you find you're always comparing yourself to people that you know, people that you see, or some kind of other generalized standard, going on Instagram and looking at pictures of hot bodies and comparing yourself, et cetera, et cetera? To do all this is to judge yourself and to separate from yourself. That is the problem. In terms of self-acceptance and emotional issues, this mindset is one of self-measuring instead of self-acceptance. So if you're always getting on the weight scale and you're always comparing how you look to someone else and you're always measuring your dress sizes, okay, you're separating from yourself, all right? And it's a mindset of self-measurement. Self-measurement isn't what you need to free yourself from these issues. Self-acceptance is what you need. So when you're using tools to self-measure, you're using tools to self-judge, and that's never going to lead to the self-acceptance that you need that leads to emotional strength and conditioning that gets you out of the scenario. A diet gauged by weighing yourself all the time only, only reinforces a faulty mindset. All this does is guarantee that the whole painful process is going to continue and keep looping over and over again. And all the continuation of this mindset accomplishes is to reinforce this attitude of emotional excesses, okay? You have food and eating issues. You have emotional hunger issues, not physical hunger issues. There is never a diet solution to various forms of self-separation, all right? Let me say that again. There is never a diet solution to various forms of self-separation and almost always Food and eating issues are forms of self-separation and not self-acceptance. Think about that. All these outside-in solutions that you're trying to solve that don't come from inside-out uh, solution of 
solutions of emotional balance and emotional processing, etc. So obviously I've, that's just a small excerpt from a project I'm working on. Um, hopefully uh, when it's available, those of you who suffer these issues are going to sign on board, stop being an expert at the level of the problem and start being a person who seeks activating the level of the solution. So again, food and eating issues aren't nutritional issues. They aren't metabolic issues. They're emotional fitness issues. And until you realize that, you're going to likely keep thinking that a diet is likely to solve these things or some uh, physique the contest prep guru is someone who's going to help you out of this. None of that is going to work if you have um, food and eating issues. You have to first accept that these are um, self-acceptance issues and self-separating issues and stop treating the symptom and start treating the cause. Stop trying to treat the pain and start trying to eradicate what causes the pain. Hopefully this makes sense. Hopefully if it, it helps you, I got a lot more coming in terms for those of you who have these food and eating issues of binge eating, overeating, whatever it may be. Uh, so just stick around and, um, you know, look for uh, announcements, etc. And I'll keep posting and sort of uh, keep trying to help you out of it. But I've got plenty of experience in this area. And uh, I find it sad that people keep suffering by trying to to treat the pain rather than the cause and by going to the wrong sources to do so. So hopefully that makes sense to a lot of you. You can review this uh, video over and over again because uh, there's key points in there that um, you'll likely want to write down and uh, use to help you. So um, again, if you have food and eating issues, then consider this.